Hey guys, it's me, Mr. 250, and welcome back to Danganronpa 2. Let's continue. Magical Miracle Girl Monami? Experience the battles between Monami and the Mono Beast that occurred behind the scenes. Oh god. Oh god, what is this? What is this? Is this something I can like play? I will protect this island. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Controls are fun. Is that, is that what I'm supposed to do? My percentage goes up if I jump on things' heads. Wow, this is a weird game. have to say I didn't really expect to be doing this. Whatever the heck I'm doing. Am I supposed to draw circles around things, maybe? Okay, so you're supposed to draw circles around things. And it hurts things. A lot of things happening, and I don't understand what's going on. Like there's trees, and I can jump, and I make bright circles, and I don't really get it. Until that happens. That. That's okay, so that's like a damage thing that I want to avoid. Pants now. What do pants do? Are there any other buttons I should be like using? Not really. I can charge and I can jump. Oh boy. Oh boy, mono beasts.
We got the cookie. Everyone, I did it. That was spectacular. Oh, and we get coins from this? Not a lot, mind you. Five coins, but still, we get some. And you can upgrade your equipment. That would lower my... What, what did that say? That's lowering... Or no, that's... Is that raising my strength? Yeah, that is raising my strength. And my Usami. I will be better next time, probably. Run slash draw. Whirl attack after jumping. Transform into Usami. Wow. Well, that was an adventure in itself. Anyway, let, let, let us now continue back into the game, the regular game. For a long time, humans have been taught that if you try hard enough, you can accomplish anything. Even if we weren't told this directly, you'd know it just by looking at the world around us. The internet, TV, and newspapers are overflowing with hopeful messages that say exactly that. But people who can't win, people who don't try to win, people who try their best and still can't win. They are all worthless trash. There are two <laughs> kinds of people in this world. Those who are born with worth and everybody else. No matter how hard a lowly human tries, they will never be the same as someone who was born worthy. They say that effort breeds success, but that's a complete lie. The world is not that accommodating. This is why he's so into the Ultimates, because they're all, like, successful. No matter how hard a small dog tries, it will never become a large dog. No matter how much a penguin tries, there's no way it will ever soar through the sky. Which means, unworthy humans will never become worthy, no matter what they do. People with talent don't become talented. They're just born with their abilities right from the start. That's right. Just like you guys. That's why I have so much respect for you all. Uh, just so you know, what I feel is different from admiration. Admiration is wishing you could be like the object of your admiration. But what I feel is not so self-serving. How should I put it? What I feel is more pure. More like a selfless love that wants nothing in return. So, I want you guys to believe me when I say, I don't mind if you kill me. But if that happens, I want you to let me help. I don't care if the killer survives, or if everyone but the killer survives. I just want both sides to do their very best. I want to see with my own two eyes. The absolute hope that lies ahead. Yep, I'm really lucky. Someone as insignificant as me will be there when hope and despair collide and unleash their energy. So please, let me help you. If you're planning to kill me, I would be honored to help you carry out your plan. I want you to use me as a stepping stone so everyone can shine. I want you to kill me in a way that befits... Oh, shut up! We've locked him in his room. Bungie corded the door shut. Pow! Tied him to a chair. Something. See in punishment. Sin in coconuts. Togami and Teru Teru died just last night. An ordeal like that doesn't change the fact that I still get hungry. I learned this firsthand as I headed towards the, hot the hotel restaurant with dreary, sullen footsteps. Oh. 
Hajime, you're already here. Good morning. Uh. Yo. Uh. Good morning. Just as I thought. The atmosphere in the restaurant is pretty gloomy. But after what happened yesterday, that's to be expected. Togami, who appointed himself our leader, was killed. And the person who killed him was our friend. And that friend was also killed right in front of us. Deliciously killed. After experiencing something like that, it's impossible not to feel sad. Huh? You guys don't look so good. Your faces all look like you just attended two funerals in a row. I guess some people don't feel so sad. Cause, cause... That's like what happened. Togami and Teru Teru got killed. You go. I'm not talking to you. Ah. Why are you always so mean to me? But... Still, I understand about Mr. Ham Hands, but is there even a reason for us to be sad about Teru Teru's death? Hey, hey. What the heck do you mean? Why? Well, he was a crazy guy who killed someone. He totally deserved to die. Hey. I understand how you feel, but you're going too far. That's weird. Is it alright to defend a killer? Are you just trying to justify murder? No. That was not my intention, but... Hey! Then you gotta hate him no more than... Hate him more than ever. You gotta hate him from the bottom of your heart. He's a stupid piece of trash who committed the lowliest crime possible. He deserved to get killed. In fact, I'm rather relieved he was executed. If I could have, I would have totally spat on him too. Hmm? Hmm? Jeez! What gives? Does a pea brain like you have something to complain about? It's not like that. Well, it's not about that, but... It smells... Something smells, don't you think? Like, like blood. Huh? Again? It can't be. Don't tell me. It better not be another dead body. Hmm. Nah, it's not the smell of blood. This time, it just smells really bad. Smells bad? Um... It's kind of like how a bar or nightclub smells after closing time, you see? Hey, hey, hey! I don't know those smells. You must have had a pretty rough life. Now that you mention it... I do smell something. It's like a sewer rotting garbage. I got it! I know what it is. Nekumari's breath probably stinks. <laughs> you got me there. She didn't say anything remotely funny just now. Hmm. No, it's not Nekumaru. The smell is coming from... You, Hiyoko. Hmm? Huh? Whoa! It's true. Hiyoko, you reek. What did you do to me? A rotten smell stings my eyes. As if a demonic eclipse is about to commence. <laughs> oh my my! Oh, she's crying. Hey! I've said it before, but you guys are really insensitive. That was gross. This, wow, what a thing to say about her. No, it actually doesn't smell that bad. I mean, as long as I breathe with my mouth. <laughs> oh god, she aggravates me. Like... Are you even taking bats? <laughs> no. You haven't bathed? <laughs> I can't help it. I can't tie my kimono sash by myself. <laughs> hey. Yoko, you don't have to cry so much. I'll tie your sash for you, okay? <laughs> really? I can only tie a simple knot, but if that's okay with you, I can teach you. Yay! Love you, Mihiru, Mahiru. I'll give you a kiss. Yay. Hyoko, you don't have to hug me. It appears you cannot escape. <laughs> <laughs> Welcome to the world of girl love. It's slippery when wet. Wow. <laughs> the air is suddenly not so tense anymore. Well, I guess it's better than being down forever. If I was all by myself, I probably wouldn't have been able to put my feelings aside and move on like this. 
I guess I have these guys to thank. Um. Anyway, what happened to Fuyuhiko and Nagito? It seems they're both not here. Uh, now that you mention it, you're right. <sighs> I saw Fuyuhiko earlier near the hotel. I invited him to breakfast, but he declined. Well, that's just Fuyuhiko being Fuyuhiko, but... Huh? Who cares about Nagito? <laughs> he is cursed. A child who summons misfortune, so to speak. Well, that may be, but... <clears throat> just letting you know, I don't know anything! I have no idea! Without hesitation, I don't know anything about Nagito at all. That's right! He's right, forget him! Let's just forget about that creep already. Huh? They're obviously acting suspicious, aren't they? Of course not! I'm not suspicious! Impossible! That's right, I'm not suspicious! What's the matter? Did someone get kidnapped or something? <clears throat> you just came at the right time! Hmm? At the right time? Mm. No, it's nothing. I don't really get it, but you must have yearned for me. Your outlook on life has changed due to my cuteness, so your body can't stand to live without me, huh? I can't help myself, you know. M my body reacts to Monokuma on its own. No. Something like that. Stupid. Who cares about that? Just hurry up and tell us why you're here. Actually. To be honest, I'm searching too. My valued servant has disappeared. Servant? What the hell? You know, my mono beasts. One of them just disappeared. Well, I know how that happened. One of the mono beasts disappeared? Hmm. Maybe I cut back on the cost of their food too much. Perhaps they're boycotting me. Let me tell you this. But that guy is the weakest of the League of Four. How shameful for a mono beast to lose to a mere human. <laughs> That's what you want to say, right? Nature. Though this is merely the prelude, the climax will occur soon after. Burn in the fires of pandemonium! <laughs> now then, let me hear your scream. I shall make such sweet music for you. Yeah, yeah. Hey, Gundam, you should stop playing with that stuffed animal. My entire... Existence. Oh well, it looks like you guys don't know anything about my mana beast either. Then it's a waste of time for me to worry about it. I don't want to go bald from worrying too much. Okay. A wise catbot once said, Our eyes are on the front so we can keep moving forward. As Monokuma said those familiar sounding words to us once again, he disappeared. No way. What do you think he meant just now? He said something about a mana beast disappearing. Mm. The only possibility I can think of is... Um... Were you in the middle of something? If so, I can come back later. <laughs> then leave. Yeah. At least ask me to leave kindly. Hey, hey. Uh, before you leave, I want to ask you something. Did you have anything to do with the disappearing mana beast? Hina! Ah, yes, that's right. I'm the one who defeated that mana beast. Y you did? You serious? Defeating a monster like that? How the heck did someone like you pull that off? <laughs> I'll talk about that in more detail in a different mode. <laughs> anyway, I've released the bridge gate for you all. Hey, hey. If the gate is open, that means we can go to the new island across the bridge, right? <laughs> is that true? That's totally right. Now now that you can all go to more areas, let's all get along and live a fun life together for sure this time. Love, love. Um. Living together on this island isn't what's important. We need to find a way to escape. Jeez. Of course. Escaping from this island is our main goal. Huh? Why you? Nobody wants to live in a swashbuckling Hollywood type action film. I want to live a life where I can be more average. A life where nothing happens. That's better for me. Alright! If you find anything that can be salvaged for boat parts, let me know immediately. Um... If 
it seems that everyone's united on a path that's different from what I had planned. Now then, let us begin. Let's disperse. The time has come to release the cursed seal. All right. Let's find a way to leave this island. <laughs> that is impossible. Hmm? Leaving the island is no longer possible. No longer possible? Hey, what is that? Ah. Hey, hey. Hajime, just leave that thing alone already. After all, she's the same as Monokuma. It's better if you don't get that close to her. You're right. It seems everyone's attention is shifted towards exploring the new island. Expecting to find something that'll help us escape the situation, everyone filed out of the restaurant. Except her. Oh, yeah. Hmm. A new island, huh? I should go find some clues, too. Aww. You can't. You promised you'd tie my kimono sash. Hey. That was... Uh, we can do that after we finish exploring the new island. <laughs> but if I don't hurry and take a bath, they'll call me smelly again. They're gonna bully me again. Oh, my God. Yeah, yeah. Okay, then let's take a light shower first. We're gonna wash each other! Huh? Wash each other? Hey... Hold on. I don't think that's a good idea for me to go in too. <laughs> now then, we're both girls. There's no need to be shy. But... Let's go! Kyoko pulled Mahiru's hand, smiling like a child before a school trip, and headed towards the cottages. Wash each other? I see. Washing each other, huh? Oh, uh. <laughs> All right, so before I do that, I did want to head to, uh, oh, well, first off, I don't think, it, I think it's been quite a while since we dealt with the pet. Yep, there we go. Um, I wanted to go, I was told apparently that the mono, mono machine, in the rocket punch market that that was able to i was able to like specify or something items that i wanted rather than just kind of going for random roulette style so i kind of want to look into that if we're lucky they'll actually let us go can make a detour anytime dang it so we got yeah so we have to investigate the new island oh darn and I, I literally went the exact wrong way. <laughs> oh well. Anyway, we'll go investigate the new island now. Aha! I found it. Excellent. She's right. The mana piece that was blocking this bridge is gone. Plus the gate that was blocking the bridge is now open. I guess Monami was right after all. What lies beyond this bridge? All right. I guess I should find out. So this is the new island. The ambiance seems different compared to the first island with the hotel. Definitely. Well, now's not the time for me to make carefree observations. There might be a clue here that tells us how to leave this island. I need to find it. Alright, so what do we what do we got here? Can I triangle? Triangle does not work here, okay. Oh uh, we've got another loop. Okay, well I guess we'll just take a little walk around then, shall we? De denies? Camp Koya? Ginglik? Camp Koyu? What? got something here. Ancient Ruin. Wow. What is this? Enormous building. It is the ambiance of an ancient ruin. But its shape doesn't resemble a ruin. It looks like some kind of building that got taken over by time. Probably 
very important to figuring out what's going on at some point. Hey, Chiaki. Sorry, I was dozing for a bit. You didn't look like you were dozing. You looked like you were completely asleep while standing up. Anyway, what's this huge building? It looks like some sort of ruins or historical landmark. Ancient ruins. That's what you think too. But it's not just a typical ancient ruin, don't you think? I don't know how to say it clearly, but... Yep. It's a mysterious building. It feels like a special place. A special place. I'll check around here a bit more, so you can go somewhere else. Mm -hmm. Come on, just go somewhere else. Is she trying to make me go away? She probably wants to be alone, so she can sleep without being interrupted. I get it, but you better not sleep. Let me know if you discover anything. Yep. Yeah, leave it to me. Geez, she's completely doing her own thing, but her smile's so innocent. That's even more annoying to deal with. I don't know, she's pretty cute. Alright, so no ancient ruins for us. And the stupid pet, I went and checked it halfway through. You know how I just flushed it not too long ago? It made a ton more poop. And I was pretty upset about that. Pretty interesting how we have a paved road going right next to an ancient ruin. We got a library. Oh wow, a big library. Like, like really big. That's an impressive amount of books. Like even bigger than the archive where the library itself was. It's probably a library, but nevertheless, it looks pretty overwhelming. Well, looks like there was Monami statues that were pushed over for Monokuma statues. The bronze statue of Monami, I mean Usami, before she got redesigned. Looks like it broke when it got dropped. Getting treated like a nuisance even as a statue, that's pretty sad. Got quite a couple things to look at. Monokuma's bronze statue, it's a bronze statue of Monokuma. It looks so arrogant. What lame taste. Wow, that's a lot of books. A lot of them have really fancy covers. They might actually be very valuable. Well, to a guy like me who can't even read them, they're basically ornaments. It's one of those ominous surveillance cameras. So someone must be monitoring us. There's no way they're watching us for our safety. And yeah, I did definitely see the Monokuma up there. You found me! Huh? Surfboard Monokuma. I've been found. There's a lot going on up there. I mean, not a lot that I can look at, but a lot going on nonetheless. The bookshelves on the shelf. What language are they written in? If I don't know that, I don't even feel like forcing myself to read them. Yeah, we got some more of these. Is it gonna say the same thing? Yeah, looks about the same. I'm not gonna bother with the Monokuma, not gonna bother with the bookshelf. So yeah, just that and then the characters. One of the monitors Monokuma uses to contact us. Nothing's on the screen right now. The only one who uses this is Monokuma. I don't think Monami can use it. Whoops. Okay, I guess we're looking at the bookshelves. French, Italian, don't even know. I see. I Such see. an interesting description. What are you reading? Are those political books or maybe some kind of philosophy? <laughs> the newest issue of a cult magazine. It breaks the lid of off underground mysteries and the wonders of the world. Th that's quite a surprise. You, you are wrong. It is not like I read it often. I am just reading it because it is a special article about serial killers. That's not a good excuse at all. However, 
far? It seems this writer has very good taste. I mean, even Genocide Jack is mentioned in the article. Hmm, that Genocide Jack or whatever. I feel like I've heard about that before. Most tight. What? Genocide Jack is an alleged Japanese serial killer who has a reputation even among casual internet users. She's very popular among youths and known for writing messages in blood at the scene of the crime. Wow! Apparently she's a high school or middle school student who wears a sailor uniform. Be careful, Hajime. Do you know how many high school and middle school girls wear sailor uniforms these days? See? This one is a particular favorite of mine. Sparkling justice is a regular subject of these kinds of exclusive articles. I shall explain it to you just in case. Sparkling Justice is a serial killer who calls themselves the Ally of Justice. Also, also... Wearing a wide variety of hero masks, Sparkling Justice is a delightful serial killer who only kills criminals. Sonya, calm down. Amazing! Thanks to the masks of Sparkling Justice wears, nobody knows their real age or gender. After all, it is essential that serial killers be mysterious. What an expert, yes. Hey. Hey, you two. I've been listening in for a while now, but... Why are you talking about mere murderers with such enthusiasm? I haven't done any talking. Please wait. Please hold on. It is a mistake to refer to these people as mere murderers. See? Coming in contact with a value system that differs from your own is a very important matter. Serial killers. Their value system is very different than the norm. What a marvelous existence. I am totes intrigued. Is this a kind of like a young lady crushing on a total bad boy type of situation? Regardless, it's clearly different from a princess who obsessed with serial killers. That was weird. Did I talk to the bookshelf or you? I feel like I talked to the bookshelf. Surprise! I'm a little surprised. I never expected to find such a splendid facility. It rivals even my homeland's national library. But isn't it strange? I mean, does a resort really need a library like this? I am concerned. That is very true and just as expected, nobody is here either. You're right. The fact that we're the only humans around here is even more strange. Monami is here. I am reading a book. Ah, <laughs> uh, since you've come here, would you like me to explain this library to you? Um. I see. Uh. It's clear from your face I'm a nuisance. Since I was more energetic than usual, I feel even emptier now. And what about your explanation? Got it? Well, you're all basically students, right? I was thinking you need a place to where you can do homework. So I prepared this library. Um. Prepared? You? <laughs> Everyone can get along and study together. It's a student's duty to study. Don't talk, don't act like a teacher. Hey! I am a teacher. You, you're even more confusing than Monokuma. So what's your real identity? What's your purpose? That's... Real identity? Now that's silly. Goodbye! Running away as soon as things get inconvenient. That's even more suspicious. However... I cannot believe that she is the one who prepared this grand facility. Yeah, she's probably lying. I see. I According see. to the Silence Guidebook, many of their guests are wealthy and stay for weeks at a time. Which means... These are all probably the things that they donated. Hold on. Did you just say this Island's Guidebook? I found this in the library. Would you like to take a look? What language is this? I have no clue. Nope, no idea. Then... Then I shall read it to you on your behalf. You can read it, Sonya? <laughs> I am fluent in 30 different languages. It is a requirement for members of the royal family. 30 languages? Does the royal family have a limit? Um... This English is difficult. 
Jabberwock Island is a small island in the Pacific Ocean, known for being a paradise of eternal summer. That is what it says. This is exactly what Togami told us before. Jabberwock Island consists of a small central island, surrounded by five other islands. The outer islands were developed as resorts, while the central island houses a large administrative building. Huh? It is strange, no? I mean, the central island of Jabberwock Island. There was no sign of any buildings at all. The only things there were, Monokuma Rock and the park. Um. Also, according to this guidebook, it says that there is a bronze statue in the lobby of that building, which symbolizes the island. Huh? Isn't that... So what, did the entire building get torn down when we just have the statue? Are you talking about that bronze statue that turned into the Mono Beasts? But that statue is in the middle of a park, not in the lobby of some building. Please wait! That is not all. There is another description that strikes me as strange. According to this guidebook, the only way to travel between the five islands is by boat. Huh? While some people wanted bridges, critics worried about their effect on the environment so none were built, but Monokuma don't care about no bridges. What does that mean? Then what are, were, what, what are we using to move between the islands? There's a possibility that this place is an artificial island, like Palm Jum Jumeira. Palm Jumeira. Probably saying that wrong. Jum Jumeira. Artificial island. Well? It's a huge artificial island and tourist site located in the Persian Gulf. Actually, I think I know what they're talking about. I think I've heard about it. Similarly, this island might be an artificial island designed to look like Jabberwock Island. It cannot be. That especially might be why. We are the only ones on this island. Just kidding. Well, something like that would be impossible anyway. No island of this size could be completely artificial. This guidebook must be old, too. It contradicts everything about the island's current situation. Well done! My, my, you're very intuitive to assume this is an artificial island. Now you're here? Hey, hey! However, those guys are the only ones who could do something on such a massive scale. Those guys? Hmm. The hint is, you know, the enormous organization you guys were talking about before. It's true that those guys totally deserve to be called a horrible group of people. Who are you talking about? Oh, Oops, that was a slip of the tongue. I could, I should excuse myself before it leaks onto the internet. Sorry, Monokuma. Hey, hold on a second. But before my voice could reach him, Monokuma disappeared as usual. It cannot be. Could it be? This island is completely artificial. There's no way that it's true. There's no way. That guidebook. It's probably just old. You are right. That's right. It's obviously what it is. He's just saying strange things just to confuse us. Dang it. There's no way I'll fall for that. Wow, that took a lot longer than I thought. Uh, I'm going to have to stop off here. I don't quite have time for a double episode today. So I hope you guys enjoyed, though. Thanks for watching. And we will continue the investigation of the islands. Island? Yeah, island next time. Bye!